Hi, and welcome back to my channel. This is Riddle, and today we're going to be covering a really simple topic about making your own potting soil. So the funny thing is, the cost of potting soil is getting more and more expensive, and if you really love plants and um, you're on a budget, it can get kind of tough to afford it. And a lot of the potting soil out there is really crappy too because it's just ground up wood chips. So what is potting soil? Well, good potting soil should be topsoil. What is topsoil? Topsoil comes from the woods and it's decades and decades of leaf matter dropping to the ground and decaying to make a rich leaf compost. So take your shovel and hit the woods. You want to be careful of poison ivy and poison oak. As you see, I got my 20 gallon tote. You don't want to fill it so heavy that you can't move it. Another quick tip. But I'm going to take my leaf mulch and move it back a little bit. We've had a severe drought here in California, so this will not be as impressive the soil as if you live in the Midwest or somewhere with regular soil. But this is basically what we want right here. This is beautiful, beautiful leaf matter, beautiful topsoil right at the top. That's why they call it topsoil. And so you just want to scrape that nice rich layer, a combination of broken down soil and light leaf matter off and fill your bucket as heavy as you can carry it. I'd say about mm, halfway because we're going to mix some other stuff into it. Some other ingredients that will make a lighter soil or make a better soil for you are perlite, but you have to buy that. Sand, which is going to help with the drainage. And peat moss, which I don't think you're really going to need the peat moss because the wood chunks and the leaf matter from the forest floor should be enough. I'm also going to add some just plain old clay soil to this because it's going to be so rich. So rich in leaf matter and acidity and nutrients that I think that we need a little bit of clay to help balance things out. Now we're going to come over to this awesome dead old tree. You'll find lots of de de decaying trees in the woods. Now the only trick to using bark or wood matter in your soil is if you're going to use your potting soil inside be mindful that all of this soil may contain insects so if you're going to use it for house plants you can either pour boiling water in it bake it in the oven or even microwave it to kill any of the insects so you can fill as much of this tree bark in as you want it's just going to again help to enrich the soil and hold moisture and kind of fluff the soil so you have more of it and you can break it down into smaller pieces too but I have one hand so I can't do it perfectly so after you've added as much of this rotten wood and I'd say one-third clay and then the rest should be your topsoil or your leaf litter from the forest you add water and usually when I'm hydrating it, I'll fill the water up to about two inches before the line and let it soak in and then let it sit for at least three or four hours or longer. And what's going to happen is all your soil, give it a nice stir, make sure everything's mixed well together and your soil and your wood chips are slowly going to absorb that water and make this beautiful potting soil. Okay, well that's the basics. It's really simple. It's just taking the time and energy to collect everything. It's good exercise, really thrifty way to get as much free topsoil, potting soil, or gardening soil that you need. Thanks for visiting my channel, and if you found this informative, please join. It helps. Take care.